our solar system. Table of Contents Introduction Our solar system is made up of the Sun, eight official planets, several dwarf planets, and hundreds of planetary satellites or moons. It also contains comets, asteroids, and clouds of gas. The Sun is the center of the solar system. Everything else in the solar system goes around or orbits the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the inner, rocky planets. They are made of hard materials. The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are known as the gas giants and are made mostly of gases. The outer planets are hundreds of times larger than Earth. To get an idea of the size of things in our solar system, imagine that Earth is a grape. If the Earth were the size of a grape, the Moon would be the size of a green pea. The Sun would be as big as a ball that an adult man could stand in. Jupiter, the largest planet, would be the size of a grapefruit, while Saturn, the second largest planet, would be the size of an orange. Uranus and Neptune would be the size of lemons. Approximate size of Earth for comparison. The Sun is approximately 110 times larger than Earth. The diameter of Earth is approximately 1,300,000 kilometers. The Sun's diameter is approximately 1.4 million kilometers, 870,000 miles. The temperature of the Sun's surface is approximately 6,000 degrees Celsius. 10,832 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun's core is approximately 15 million degrees Celsius or that many degrees Fahrenheit. The sun. The sun is a huge ball of burning gas that sends energy far out into the solar system. The sun plays a very important part in our daily lives, providing energy that supports all life on Earth. The sun causes seasons, climate, ocean currents, air circulation, and weather. Without the sun's energy, plants could not grow and make food. Also, there would be no gas, oil, or coal, which are Earth's fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are formed over millions of years from dead plant and animal life. The sun is just one of billions of stars. It has been around for about 4.6 billion years. It will keep producing energy for another 5 billion years. Before it dies, it will swell up and swallow many of the inner planets. Then it will shrink into a much smaller ball. Relative sizes of the objects in our solar system. A close-up image from the NASA Discovery flight in 2008 shows the huge Caloris impact basin on Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. It is the smallest planet in our solar system. It takes only 88 Earth days for Mercury to make a complete orbit around the Sun. For comparison, it takes Earth 365 days or one year to orbit the Sun. Like all other planets, Mercury spins like a top as it goes around the Sun. It spins very slowly. Each spin of a planet is a day on that planet. A day on Mercury is 59 times longer than an Earth day. Because Mercury spins or rotates so slowly, it gets very hot during the day and very cold at night. In addition to having air too heavy to breathe, scientists found that Venus rotates backward. This means that on Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. The colors used on the Magellan mission image represent different elevations on the surface of Venus. Venus. Venus and Earth are similar in size, but Earth and Venus are very different. Venus is covered by layers of cloud that are much thicker than clouds on Earth. These clouds trap most of the sun's heat. The temperature on Venus gets very, very hot, more than four times hotter than boiling water. As well as trapping in heat, the clouds of Venus reflect sunlight. This makes Venus one of the brightest objects in the sky. The air pressure on Venus is 90 times greater than that on Earth. For this reason, space probes that land on Venus stop working within a few hours. 
Venus rotates even more slowly than Mercury. One day on Venus is equal to 243 Earth days. Moat Mons, a volcano on Venus, is 8 kilometers high. It is very similar to the types of volcanoes found in Hawaii. Earth. Earth is a very special planet because it is our home and also because it is the only planet on our solar system that can support life. The most important difference between Earth and the other planets is the abundance of liquid water. Water co covers nearly 70% of the Earth. Earth rotates about once every 24 hours one day. It completes one orbit, orbit of the Sun about once every 365 days. That's one year. Earth's atmosphere is made up of gases that living things need to stay alive. The atmosphere protects us from most of the sun's harmful rays. It also helps to protect us from meteors by causing them to burn up before reaching Earth's surface. Earth has one natural satellite, the moon. Do you know? Earth's atmosphere is very thin. If Earth were an apple, the atmosphere would only be as thick as the apple's skin. The moon. The moon is about one-fourth the size of Earth. It reflects light from the sun onto us. Many scientists believe the moon was originally a part of Earth and was broken off in an enormous space collision. Tests have shown that there is water, I there is water ice on the moon's surface. Earth's ocean tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is known as the red planet because of large amounts of rust-colored dust on its surface. Mars is, Mars is the most Earth-like of all the planets of our solar system. Mars has seasons similar to our own, and the soil there is similar to the soil on Earth. But there is very little oxygen or water vapor in Mars' atmosphere. The climate on Mars changes widely between seasons. Temperatures on its surface can range from 30 degrees Celsius, or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, in the summer to minus 130 degrees Celsius and minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Mars often has winds that blow up to 200 kilometers per hour. It's 120 miles per hour. These winds cause great dust storms that color the planet's atmosphere pink. There are ice caps on both poles of Mars. The northern one is made up mostly of water that never melts, while the southern pole is made up of carbon dioxide, which changes from solid to gas during the Martian summer. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Diamos. A year on Mars is almost as long as two Earth years. A day on Mars lasts only one half hour longer than a day on Earth. Scientists are studying the gullies at Mars Hale Crater to discover if their changing surface shapes are created by the movement of liquid water. Jupiter and its moon, Ganymede, photographed April 9, 2007 by the Hubble Space Telescope. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is like a star in many ways because it is made up mostly of gas clouds. The clouds of Jupiter form bands that have very high winds and are always very stormy. One gigantic storm rotates counterclockwise at a constant speed of 360 kilometers per hour, or 225 miles per hour, and acts much like a hurricane. It's called the Great Red Spot, easily visible. It can be as wide as three times the size of Earth. Jupiter's temperature is very cold at the tops of the clouds. At its core, it is hotter than the surface of the sun. In some ways, Jupiter is like a mini solar system because it is so big and has four large moons and dozens of smaller moons orbiting around it. it. Also has several thin rings at its equator. Scientists believe that if Jupiter had become larger during its development, it could have become a star instead of a planet. Jupiter spins quite fast for such a large planet. One day on Jupiter is roughly 10 hours. It takes Jupiter almost 12 Earth years to complete its orbit around the Sun. Jupiter's constant dust storm, the Big Red Spot, is highly visible. Shown in their approximate size relationship, Jupiter's four moons are named top to bottom. 
Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Saturn's spectacular rings are mostly made of water ice. Each ring averages about 30 feet in depth, but some bumps and points are more than two miles high. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet of the solar system. It's easy to recognize because of its large visible system of rings. The rings are made up of millions of pieces of ice and frozen gases. Saturn also has dozens of small moons that orbit it. Saturn is also unique for another reason. It weighs little compared to how large it is. Saturn would float if a swimming pool could be made big enough to hold it. Saturn spins very fast, making one day on Saturn ten and one-half hours long. Four moons of Saturn pass in front of the planet. Enceladus and Dion on the far left cast shadows while the larger Titan and the small Mimas at the far right do not. Uranus Some of Uranus's moons and rings can be seen very clearly in this Hubble telescope image. The bright spots on the far right of the planet are high clouds. Uranus Uranus is the seventh planet of the solar system and the third largest. It looks blue-green in color because of methane gas in its atmosphere. Uranus seems to roll around the sun because it is very tilted. Scientists think this might be because it bumped into another planet-sized object long ago. Uranus has at least 27 moons, five of which are large. Scientists have also counted at least 13 rings. It takes Uranus 81 Earth years to go around the sun. Toward the top is the backward storm that scientists have named Dark Spot 1 and lower is Dark Spot 2. Their cyclone-like winds spin counter to the direction of Neptune's orbit. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. Neptune and Uranus are sometimes called the twin giants because they are so much alike. They are about the same size and color, and both are covered with thick clouds. But Neptune's winds are the fastest in the solar system, reaching 2,000 kilometers per hour over 1,242 miles per hour. Neptune has one large moon and many smaller moons, plus several visible dust rings. It takes Neptune about 165 Earth years to go around the sun. Pluto and other dwarf planets before 2006, the space object called Pluto was the ninth planet of our solar system. But scientists debated and voted to create a new category called dwarf planets for space objects like Pluto. Dwarf planets orbit the sun, have nearly round shapes, produce a minimum level of brightness, and are not moons. They also do not have enough gravitational pull to sweep other space objects from their orbit. Scientists began by identifying six official dwarf planets, but some scientists wanted to classify dozens of smaller space objects as dwarf planets. Many more space objects could be counted among the dwarf planets as technology makes it easier to identify them. What would you weigh? Gravity is different on each planet, and gravity determines how much you weigh. If you weigh 70 pounds on Earth, then you would weigh... On Mercury, 27. On Venus, 63. On the Moon, 12. On Mars, 27. On Jupiter, 165. On Saturn, 65. On Uranus, 62. On Neptune, 79. On Pluto, 5. In outer space, you would weigh nothing. Satellites monitor impact tests during research into ways to prevent asteroids from colliding with Earth. Asteroids. Asteroids are rocky, metallic objects orbiting the sun. They range in size from a few feet in diameter to hundreds of miles in diameter. Most asteroids are found between Mars and Jupiter. Some have orbits that cross the Earth's path. In the past, some have even crashed into Earth. Asteroids and smaller objects that enter Earth's atmosphere are called meteoroids. If they survive the trip and land on the ground, they are called meteorites. If they burn up before landing, they're called meteors. Among the best evidence of an asteroid hitting Earth is the Behringer Crater near Winslow, Arizona. The comet NEAT, photographed by 
Wind Telescope of Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona was discovered in 2001 by the Near Earth Asteroid Tracking System. Comets. Comets are composed of ice and dust and are like large, dirty snowballs in space. They have very oval-shaped orbits. For part of that orbit, they come close to the sun, then they swing far out into space. Some comets orbit the sun in less than 200 years. The most famous of these is Halley's Comet. It returns every 76 years. Other comets take thousands of years to complete an orbit. Comet Hayakutake, which passed close to the Earth in 1996, will return in about 9,000 years. Conclusion Humans have always wondered what's happening out there in space. For centuries, we can only guess. New rockets, space probes, satellites, and telescopes show us what's happening in our solar system every day. These tools have helped scientists to discover new planets, recount moons, and see stars being born and being swallowed. They have also given us the first full sky survey map of our universe and a direct view at the sun. What will they show us next about our solar system and beyond? In July 2010, after a year-long mapping mission, the orbiting Planck Telescope of the European Space Agency delivered its first full-sky survey of our universe. Planck's mission is to measure radiation left over from the ancient beginnings of our universe so that scientists can study how it was formed. As Planck sweeps the sky, it also measures the temperatures, density of matter, speed, and movement of galaxies.